now we're now we're doing Johnny Clark's move. All right. So I'm here, and basically, like I said before, this guy's using good technique. His hips down. He's pushed, staying low. All right. Go ahead. Uh, left hip down. And he's walking this way. So if I step over the top, I'm going to be off balance. I can't move this direction, and even if I could, it's not like I'm going to have any type of. Uh, uh, pressure that way. So all I'm going to do is, as he's walking, I'm going to just, I'm going to just fall off the side here and post my hand here. I fall off the side to give myself a little, take off a little tension. So I post here. So I, I went here. If I try to reach back here, now some people do that. If you watch Mac Lunas wrestle, or, or uh, um, I think even Johnny did it too, or, or, uh, but. Um, now, some of the Cornell guys are really good at this. You know, drop just flailing their body back and getting here, which is fine. But eventually you're going to want to get here because what I like to do in this technique is let his head come out. All right? There's two ways to finish it. One is to get proactive and just push his head. See what I did? Push his head with your knee to his knee and then continue that and come off. All right? But a lot of times, this guy's, when he's pushing into you hard, it's hard to do that. So then I just wait. So I'll wait and he'll almost all the time bring his head out to score. And then that's when I turn him up. Now what did you notice me doing? I'm higher than him. And it's a technique that's not easy. You actually have to switch knees. So you're here, you're posting, and you switch knees and come up. Okay, so I come down, I post, or, or I post behind his ankle, post here, wait for his head to come out, switch knees, come up. Can you guys do that? I'm here. Reach. All right, but I can't push his head, so I'm going to come off, wait for his head to come out, switch knees. Now, Johnny's good at cradle, so if you come here and cradle. I'm not a cradle guy, so I never did that. I always went for the two. But sometimes going for that cradle will scare him and stretch him out, and you get the two a lot easier. Okay? All right. So again, I'm trying to go this way, but he's walking. He's walking. Catch. And sometimes it's right there and you can go. Right? Can you guys do it ever? Here and there, this is... I guess you're either going to love this one or you're not going to use it. But for me, and a lot of the Cornell guys, I know they're, they're uh, big fans of this one. Post. Post. Head comes out. Switch knees. Switch knees. And then come on. It's slow, but that's what it looks like. All right, one more time. Go here. Good way to set this move up. Start walking this way. What's he going to do? He's going to walk. He's going to walk. He's going to walk. Switch. You're there. See that? Walk, walk, walk. Switch. Post. He comes out, switch knees. Hug it. Look at what I'm doing. Hug this thing like a teddy bear. If you go switch off to a cradle, switch off. Yes? Think you got it? How many people want to see it one more time? Wait, do you, do you, put, the, do you put the second post after he takes out his upper his head? Sorry? Yeah, do it again. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Alright, so I'm here. Walk in here. Switch. Post. Why do I post here? I don't grab. I don't need it. I don't even need that right now. I just post because I'm going to need it later. Now I can, again, get proactive and go here. Or if he's really pushing here, I'm going to ah, ease the tension a little. Switch. That's the move right there. One goes down, the other one goes up. And then, just like you do when you penetrate, what do you got to do? Drive through, right? Can you over tell? Yes? Ready? Go. 